We are inviting you to discover your destiny at beautiful Hotel Inferno, Las Vegas' hottest new casino and lodging, with our imprisoned Mesafisto attraction now. Drop the kids off at our We Are All Orphans Till Our Eyes See Our Parents Again room and throw popcorn at the Prince of Darkness. Hotel Inferno has everything. Free buffet, torture devices, rats, but on purpose, demon concierge, catch a show at our dimensionally transcendent arena, or relax at our spa and salon. Because at Inferno, we know the devil is in the details. Also, we're under new management. I think it's the Ghost Rider. I'm not really sure. Eric Lynch is reportedly suing Tony Stark's biological mother, singer-songwriter Amanda Strong, for hitting him over the head with a guitar. The fight was reportedly over the board of directors taking control of Stark Industries next Monday morning. Well, another crisis was averted and the world again saved by Earth's mightiest heroes. We wanted to take this moment and spotlight one of the unsung heroes of New York City, the New York City Parks admin in charge of statues. Welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me. You are in charge of maintaining all the sculptures, correct? Yeah, that's right. And your department is under fire for the new Avengers statue. Yeah, that's right. Again, it's not exactly fair. First, the statue that's up right now, we know it doesn't contain every Avenger. In reality, could you imagine a statue with every one of them? The statue in question is a work in progress. Your department uh, stays surprisingly busy. Yeah, well, with these people all dying and coming back to life, we just start putting all the monuments on wheels. The statues on wheels also help when people become uh, evil. I've suggested this to everyone, but you can still see a Steve Rogers statue with the Nomad costume in a town square in Mississippi. And uh, here in New York, we still have a Conant statue that plays CCR all the time. Spider-Man insists it stays up, uh... Does that psycho come back to life? Can we wheel that thing out of here? This is Barney Fly with Barney in the Sky, and I am happy to say we are back in the air. The no fly orders listed now that Moon Girl and her dinosaur have helped what's left of the Fantastic Four, Silver Surfer, and Golden Galactus. They stopped our world from being ended by another galactic devourer, Omnipotentus. Galactus, a girl shows up who's your height and you pick a fight? Come on, buddy! I'll be honest, we're trying to decide what we should be covering. Deadpool is being chased by a team of Hawkeyes. Well, that may be entertaining. I know a helicopter has no place near a Deadpool fight. Over there, there's an explosion in downtown that's apparently turning people into mutants. Co-pilot Bob and I are still trying to decide if we want to test our luck with a mutation. Yeah, let's do it. Bob wants to do it, but we're also being told traffic is at a standstill thanks to the Scorpion. <laughs> The Mangog, the manifested vengeance of a billion, billion murdered souls, destroyed Asgard. The mortal, Jane Foster, rose from her hospital bed, chained the Mangog to the legendary Hammer of Mjolnir, and threw them both into the sun. Destroying the Hammer, killing the Mangog, and releasing what is called the Mother of All Storms. Well, that seems unimpressive to this reporter when compared to Odin's son's grief. Hey, Thor's are attempting to wield this storm as, as, as a godly defibrillator. Thor has done it at the cost of his arm. In an attempt to manipulate this storm, it melted the appendage. But Jane Foster lives. This reporter is amazed by what he's seen here but also really, really wants to get off the moon and go home. If, if anyone could... This telecast is uh, brought to you by Hotel Inferno out in beautiful Las Vegas. That's where I spent my time off, but so good we're going to be back in day. We are in beautiful Roxxon Park, and of course this game is dedicated to the victims of Grandmaster Prime the victims of that thing in Scotland, all the other victims of the recent tragedies and ongoing crises. And, of course, we, we're all hoping Spider-Man pulls through. It's a gorgeous day, getting a little bit of shade, actually a lot of shade. 
It's a high fly ball, and there's what should be the first out here on a long-awaited day. Baseball is back. Cespedes is losing it in the lights. Uh, this is a day day, but the sun is blotted out. Cespedes can't make the play. Seager should be safely at first, but he's running toward the dugout. It appears to be raining glowing dead people. I don't know. They might they might see if this lets up. Oh, op. yeah. Yeah, they're, they're bringing out the tarp, and yeah, the umpire signals. Yeah, we're in a rain delay skip. 